I want to talk about how our mothers define themselves or how we perceive mm-hmm. our mothers define themselves. Because right now, um, my mom just had to move. Um, she lost my, my stepdad a couple years ago. And she is going through this, this transition of not really knowing who she is. The, 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 kids, there's, the kids are all gone, obviously. Right. We're all grown. But the, the, the grandkids weren't around. But she is a caregiver. Mm-hmm. She, her, her primary function in, in all of life was being a caregiver. Mm-hmm. And that was great for us as kids because right. she was always home. She didn't have to go to work or anything like that. She wasn't a career mom. She was a stay-at-home mom. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and then when we left, then there was my dad. And then after my dad, there was my stepdad who she took care of who was, you know, 20 years her senior. Mm-hmm. Talk about the opposite mm-hmm. of oh, cougar. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> and, um, and, and when he passed away, now she, she's, not, she's not a caregiver anymore. She's mm-hmm. trying to find her, her legs mm-hmm. about who she is and where she fits in. And it's a real, real difficult transition. The one thing that my mom taught me that, that I thought was awesome was she said, you decide what a woman is. You don't let anyone else tell you what a woman is. If you do it, then a woman does it. Mm-hmm. Don't let anyone tell you a woman doesn't do that because she was told... She wanted to be a doctor. She was told women don't do that. You yeah. know what I mean? And so I feel really blessed that my mom you know, gave great. me that message was you decide. If you do it, then a woman does it because merely the fact that you're, you're doing it and you great. do it. Right. Yeah. And right. so it's like kind of what we were There's saying no earlier, not letting anyone define you. You right. define yourself. Yeah. yeah. No right. limitation. Right. That's, yeah. that's right. excellent. I yeah. had a similar upbringing. Yeah. My mother, um, she didn't want kids. She didn't want oh. kids. She got married because she was told she was old at 22. Oh, my. She was yeah. just turning 20. She better get married. And so the guy she was with was my father, and she said, you're going to marry me. And he said, yes, I am. <laughs> and they got married, and the thing to do was to have kids. Right. And so to this day, I say, Mom, you have no patience. You don't enjoy children. Yeah. What? She's a drummer. <laughs> so, I mean, what do you, what the kids, she goes, well, I knew I would like mine. She taught music lessons. She was a painter. She had a radio show. She had all these different things, and it was just understood. I was never given told the words you can do whatever you want. It was just very clear. It yeah. was it was you just understood. Right. Yeah, you do yeah. whatever yeah. you want. Right. You know, you're capable. Go do it.